show created by Cy Howard and starring that celebrated actor, Mr. J. Carroll Nash, with Alan Reed as Pasquale. Vasco left Italy to start his new life in America, he promised his mother that he would write and tell her about his adventures. So now let's read Luigi's letter as he writes to Mama Vasco in it. Dear Mamma Mia, <laughs> right now everybody in this country is a celebrating at Thanksgiving. This is a holiday, right, the American man, the butcher. <laughs> For Mamma Mia, I wish you could be here now to see how everybody is so friendly and nice and happy. When you walk down the street now, everybody's got a big smile on their face, except maybe a few turkeys. <laughs> The reason the day is no happy is because Thanksgiving is to celebrate the landing of the pilgrims. When the pilgrims is, uh, is the first to come here, they was looking for something to, to eat, so they shot the wild turkeys. Of course, most of the housewives wish the pilgrims would have shot the pork chops. <laughs> because that's a 30 cents a pound of cheap. <laughs> but so far, Mamma Mia, I've got no plans for my Thanksgiving. But I'm sure my friend Pasquale, he's going to invite me to his spaghetti palace for private dinner tomorrow night. After all, no matter how mean Pasquale is an actor sometime, underneath he's got a heart as big as his daughter Rosa. <laughs> well, I'll finish this letter later because it's the time I should have gone out to my night school class. Mamma mia, I wish you could see my beautiful teacher, Miss Spalding. She's got a blonde hair. Blue eyes. Nice. Well, so far this year, I'm never come late to class. Now, it's about time to school to start here. Quiet class, please, please. I'll call the roll. Mr. Basco? Here. Mr. Howitt? Here. Mr. Olson? Mr. Schultz? Gobble, gobble. <laughs> Mr. Schultz, I presume you're imitating a turkey. Gobble, 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 gobble. <laughs> All right, Mr. Schultz, control yourself. Impossible. In this season, a turkey has got to lose his head. <laughs> well, Mr. Schultz, since you're so full of the holiday spirit, perhaps you can answer some of the history questions I've prepared about Thanksgiving. Me and my big mouth. <laughs> you may tell us, what year did the pilgrims arrive in America? Miss Spalding, that question is so simple, I'm ashamed to answer it. Well, all right. What year did the pilgrims arrive? 1776. <laughs> 1776? Mr. Schultz, you should be ashamed of yourself. That's what I said. I'm ashamed to answer it. <laughs> all right, class. Now, who can give me the correct date? 1789. 1812. 1492. 16. Shift. <laughs> Mr. Schultz. Mr. Olson, you had the correct date. I didn't hear him say 1492. <laughs> Mr. Schultz, the answer is 1620. Now, Columbus came here about 125 years before the pilgrims. There's absolutely no connection between those two events. No connection? Miss Spalding, what are you saying? If Columbus hadn't discovered America, the pilgrims would have got here in 1620, stepped off the boat, and fell right into the ocean. <laughs> Now, class, does anybody besides Mr. Olson know the name of the boat that brought the pilgrims here? Oh, come now. The name of the boat is Mr. Horowitz? The name of the boat is Mr. Horowitz? <laughs> no, no, no. I'll give you a hint. It begins with May. The May. I, I know, I know. The Maypole. <laughs> no. Miss Balding, if you wish, I could tell you the name of the boat the day they left. How many people was in it, and exactly where they landed? Him, the British spy. 
<laughs> Miss Balding, are you going to have a nice big turkey tomorrow night? Well, yes, Mr. Howard. Good. Every Thanksgiving, I take a train ride home and enjoy a real Thanksgiving dinner with my family. Ah, Miss Balding, there's nothing like being home with your loved ones on Thanksgiving. <laughs> you're by, you're by, you, you, you should see the turkey my wife is making with cranberry jelly and candied yams. Oh, so juicy. <laughs> Mr. Brasco, you haven't said anything. Where are you celebrating Thanksgiving? Me? Uh, well, uh, I'm, uh, I'm having a dinner with my countryman, Pasquale. Uh, he's invited me to eat with him. Uh, he's uh, going to be so much food. He's told me he's going to have uh, the biggest turkey in the town. Yeah, Rosa. <laughs> <laughs> you really forget, Pasquale. Come on and eat with me. Estimer and me would be very happy to have you eat with us. Come on, Luigi, will Luigi, you? Luigi, I would be honored if you had to eat our turkey. No, stop, everybody. If Luigi has got to get into Cheshire tonight, I got first call. <laughs> no, please, please, everybody, thanks for inviting me. But, well, Pasquale has brought me here from the old country. He's a watch after me. He's in all my family, and I'm a want to very much to eat the way to him. Mr. Schultz, Mr. Basco has his mind made up. Let him eat with Mr. Pasquale. All right, Luigi. But one thing I got to warn you to look out for. What, Mr. Schultz? When you sit down by the table and Pasquale offers you the appetizer, take. When he gives you the soup, take. And the jerky also, you take. But when he points to Rosa and says, Luigi, take some stuffing, that's the time to go on a diet. <laughs> Luigi, Luigi, wait for me. Oh, sure, sir. Who oh, listen to me? I'm puffing like the last donkey on the mule train. <laughs> listen, Luigi, I didn't want to say nothing in class. But you didn't fool me. What? I could tell the way from you was talking that Pasquale didn't invite you for Thanksgiving. How about sure, sir? He, he's just forgot. I'm sure he's going to invite me. When? On Christmas? <laughs> now, look, why don't you come and eat with me and my happy little family, huh? Oh, what fun we got. Around the table, we got me, my wife, my three children, my brother Ludwig, my cousin Hugo, my uncle Chuck, his six kids, my three nephews, my grandfather Wolfgang, his girlfriend, and the rest of the family. <laughs> No, no, thank you, Shoes. Besides, there's too many people for one turkey. Oh, no, stop. This year we got a turkey twice as big as last year. How big is it? Six pounds. <laughs> <laughs> but, Shoes, how is it possible for so many people to eat one smaller turkey? Who eats? <laughs> all night long we got at a wishbone party. We all sit around and wish for a bone. <laughs> Smile, Luigi. I'm just making fun. <laughs> I'm sure so you're such a good friend to worry about me. But I'm sorry, I'm going to say no. Yeah, but Pasquale didn't invite you yet. She'll say, I'm a no Pasquale. He's purposely not inviting me because he wants I should ask him before he's asking me. So when he's inviting me, it's going to sound like I was begging him. Well, all the time, I'm going to get him. No, no, him stop, a stop. And I... stop. You're getting me all for shimmers. <laughs> I got to go now, Luigi. But if Pasquale don't invite you, don't be ashamed. Come to me, huh? All right, sure. <laughs> and smile, Luigi. Smile. <laughs> Remember, a smile is just like glass wax. You wipe it on, you wipe it off. <laughs> You'll be like me, always laughing. <laughs> Ooh. Oh. oh, my woman. Oh, my <laughs> Mommy, I'm, well, I'm sure Pasquale is going to invite me. But maybe not. Maybe yes. Could be no. <laughs> I'm a better stop. I'm a getting myself all up for shimmel. <laughs> Luigi, my friend. <laughs> hello, Luigi. Hello, hello. Uh, hello, 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 hello Pasquale. Uh, Hello. Hello. How's it with you, eh? All right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what are we laughing about? Well, I'm, I'm guess it's the holiday spirit of Pasquale. Holiday? Oh, yes. Well, if you excuse me, Luigi, I'm going to go back and see how my turkeys are coming along. Oh, it's uh, Pasquale. Huh? 
Uh, what do you want, Luigi? Uh, well, uh, happy at Thanksgiving, Pasquale. Same to you. Goodbye. Uh, Pasquale. What? Uh, thanks for bringing me to America. Don't thank me. Thank the boat. <laughs> Hey, Pasquale. Huh? Is a big turkey? <laughs> you should see it. That's a reminder me, Luigi. I was thinking to ask you something about it tonight. Pasquale, your answer is a yes. Good. Uh, we send out the wedding invitations right away. <laughs> you said a yes. I'm a witness. I was asking you to marry my daughter, Rose. Pasquale, please, don't talk to Rose now. Let's. Let's talk a turkey. Luigi, when I'm a talker to you about a rosa, I'm a talking a turkey. <laughs> but, Pasquale. But the nut. Oh, Luigi, you should have seen how it was a waddle around yesterday on those two big fat legs. Rosa? No, the turkey. <laughs> Look, Luigi, she's a crazy for you. Why you don't sneak up behind her, put your hands around her neck, and give her a nice big kiss? The turkey? No, rosa. <laughs> Pasquale, please, I was coming to your store to talk about a Thanksgiving. All right, all right. I'm going to give you something to be thankful about. You marry my Rosa, I'm going to give you a cash reward. Cash reward? Yes. Uh, it's what they call in America diary. <laughs> On your wedding night, <laughs> on your wedding night, I'm going to give you a thousand dollars. Rosa's weigh 250 pounds. That's to mean you're getting a four dollars a pound. <laughs> But a Pasquale, a... Four dollars a pound, Luigi. Think of it. That's a twice as much as England is a pay for the pound. <laughs> well, what do you say, Luigi? Say yes, you got a thousand dollars on the barrel ahead. Well? Pasquale, keep your barrel ahead. <laughs> oh, Luigi, you are sorry specimens of a human being. Huh? <laughs> what do you mean, Pasquale? After all, without me, you wouldn't be in America. Well, Pasquale... I'm grateful to you for that. You wouldn't be able to enjoy the four freedoms. A freedom from a poverty, ignorance, a fear, freedom from a want. What more could you ask for? Fifth freedom, a freedom from a Russia. <laughs> All right, you're smart. Huh? Well, tomorrow night you're also going to enjoy a sixth freedom. What's that? Freedom from a Mike Turkey. Good night. <laughs> And now, for the second act of Luigi Basco's Adventures in Chicago, we turn to page two of his letter to his mother in Italy. And so, Mamma Mia, is not thanks to giving an evening. Everybody is suddenly acting so nice and friendly. It's wonderful. But I'm a feel a little lonely. Mamma Mia... You see, Pasquale is uh, no invite me. Oh, excuse me, Mama. Maybe it's a Pasquale coming in now. Come in. Uh... Hello, Mr. Basco. Here's your evening paper. Oh, thanks, Danny. Hey, you, you, you sell a lot of papers tonight? Well, not so good, Mr. Basco. Oh. You know, everybody's rushing around. They ain't got no time to read tonight. All right, then I buy extra paper. Why, you don't have to. That's all right. I'm going to wash the floor tomorrow. <laughs> hey, Danny. Hey, it's a six o'clock, and 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 do you having enough thanks for giving dinner tonight? Uh? Well, you you know I ain't got no folks, and my uncle's working the late shift tonight. Oh, well, it's too bad. Ain't you having no Thanksgiving dinner? No. Well, happy Thanksgiving, Mister Basco. Well, a happy Thanksgiving, Danny. Hey, Danny, why you rush? Sit down, and maybe we talk a little bit, huh? Well, I'd like to, but but I gotta sell these papers. They're the late edition. What if they're already late? It don't matter if they're gonna be a little later. What's the matter, Mr. Basco? You look a little beat. Beat? Yeah, on the ropes. On the ropes? <laughs> you know, pooped. <laughs> on the ropes, a beat the poops. <laughs> hey, sometimes I'm a think they teach a different English in a night to school and a day school. <laughs> He's tired. Oh, so that's the poops. <laughs> well, Danny, maybe, maybe that's how I'm a feel. And also, maybe, maybe a little bit to lunch. Boy, I know that feeling. Hey, Danny, how's about do you eat a supper with me tonight, huh? 
You'll be my guest. Gee, you got a turkey? No, but I'm going to buy one. All ready to eat. Okay, you got a deal. Huh? I said you got a deal. Danny, you're too young to play cards. <laughs> I mean, okay, I'll eat turkey with you. Oh, well, that's good. Boy, this is going to be fun. Yeah, Danny. It's like magic. Two lonely people, presto. One little party. Hey, wait a minute. I... I gotta sell all these papers first. Hey, Danny, I'm got another idea. You help me eat the turkey, I'm helping you sell the papers. Well, that's Jake with me. Oh, you got your friend Jake with you. <laughs> no, that just means okay. Good. Well, here, you give me half of your papers. Hey, but now, what am I supposed to yell? Well, anything, as long as you get him to buy a paper. Well, it's easy. Say English? <laughs> Try it. Ah, uh, what are you about to ask? What are you How was it that? Great, I didn't understand a word you said. Come on. <laughs> Is that the last edition? No, I'm got a three papers left. I mean, is that the morning paper? Huh? How could it be the morning paper if it's still a night the now? <laughs> Are you kidding? I always get my morning paper the night before. You mean it before something is happening? You already reason about it? <laughs> Never mind. Let's have a paper. Sure. And a happy thanks for giving it to you. Hey, Mr. Basco, how you doing? Fine, Danny. I've only got the one paper left. I only got one, too. Well, hurry up and sell it. Oh, my God, hurry. Oh, uh, what happened about a third dinner? What about extra the president? The president is a declared war. Hey, mister. <laughs> you want a paper? Did you say the president declared war? Sure, here's the paper. Okay, here. Hey, where does it say the president declared war? Well, it ain't to hear it, see? President declares the war on the prices. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's nice to give it to Well, I'm a... I'm a soldier at the paper at the well, line. Well, how are you yeah. doing, Mr. Basco? Well, soldier, Danny. All the soldier. Come on, Danny. Now we go to the store to buy the turkey. Hey, what are you going to get to your turkey? <laughs> yeah, can I do something for you? Please, uh, I'm, uh, I'm interested to buy that roasted turkey you got in the window. How much is it cost? Uh? Eighteen dollars. Mamma mia. Wow. Please, uh, maybe you got a little smaller one? Well, how much did you want to spend? Two dollars. Are you kidding? No self-respecting turkey would take his feathers off for less than ten dollars. <laughs> but I'm... Um, I never thought the turkeys would cost us so much. Look, mister, you're not buying just a raw bird. That $18 turkey in the window would cost so much because we clean it and dress it. You clean it and dress it? Yeah. Looks beautiful, don't it? Hey, look, mister, I'm still got a $2. Give me a turkey that ain't going to a party. <laughs> <laughs> you're joking. <laughs> I'm a nut. <laughs> You want my dollar? No, no, Johnny. No, Danny. Here. Please, mister. We like it to celebrate the Thanksgiving. What are we going to buy here for $2? Well, come on over here. We'll see what we Mmm, <laughs> it smells good, huh, Danny? Mmm, good. Such a beautiful hot the dogs. <laughs> Hey, Danny, we got everything under the table? Yeah, baked beans, bread, a potato salad, coleslaw, pickles, spud nuts, and milk. Come on, Mommy, what the feast. Happy Thanksgiving, Danny. Happy Thanksgiving, Mr. Basco. Well, I'm beginning to carve now. <laughs> Mr. Basco, how can you carve a hot dog? It's not a turkey. Hey, Danny, you know what's inside a hot dog? No. Anybody else know what's inside a hot dog? <laughs> no. Well, I'm a no. It's a turkey. <laughs> now, which part do you want to, Danny? White to me or the black to me? <laughs> well, you're the host, Mr. Basco. Yeah, you take first pick. Oh, no, no, Danny, you're my guest. 
please. All right. I'll take the dark meat. Good. That's the only kind of we got. <laughs> well, Danny, here. You take a one a drumstick, I'm going to take the other drumstick. Okay. Mmm, this is good. And pass some mustard. You mean the cranberry sauce? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, wait a minute. Here's your champ of pain. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the milk. <laughs> look, look at the vintage, Danny. Sparkling a Guernsey, 1929. <laughs> what is it to you, help? Alley up. Alley up. <laughs> What's so funny? <laughs> the bubbles is a tickle in my nose. <laughs> huh? Ain't this a wonderful Thanksgiving dinner, Danny? Is there anything else you could have wanted? Well, yeah. What's that? I wish we had turkey. <laughs> oh. Danny, I'm gonna know how you feel. But let me tell you something. Lots of things in a life is it depend on how you look on them. How you feel about them. Like they say, it's a, it's a what's in your mind. In your mind? Sure. Everything depends on the way you think. You want to be big, you are big. You want to be king, you can be a king. <laughs> of course, that's not so good. You never know how long you're going to last. <laughs> but, uh, Danny, look on that chair over there. Ain't that the most beautiful sofa? The most expensive material that you ever saw? Huh? Look hard and think. Yeah. And look at those walls. Queen of Forest, Danny. Beautiful trees. Blue sky. Most wonderful spot that you ever saw. Yeah. And now look on the table, Danny. Look, ain't that the most beautiful feast anybody could ever have, no matter how much money they would have spent? It? Mr. Basco? Yes, Danny. Can I have the wishbone? Oh, boy, what a meal that was. Yeah, I'm so full, I'm a good bust. Hey, you know I'm glad that Pasquale didn't invite me to his dinner. Well, why didn't he, Mr. Basco? Well, it, uh, we just have a difference of opinion. How much of a difference? 250 pounds. <laughs> what a Danny, it's late tonight. You better go home and go to sleep. Okay, Mr. Basco, and thanks for everything. You know, last year some society people threw a Thanksgiving party for the newsboys. Well, I hated it. Nothing but a bunch of stuffed shirts. Stuffed shirts? Yeah. That's a strange country. And a Thanksgiving, besides the stuff on the turkeys, they also stuff at the shirts. <laughs> well, good night, Mr. Basco. I had a wonderful Thanksgiving. <laughs> Me too, Danny. Whew. Oh, mommy, I'm so full of a Thanksgiving. I'm not going to touch a bite for the Christmas. Luigi, you should be ashamed of yourself. How do it, Schultz told me Pasquale didn't invite you. So here, my wife has to send you a turkey leg with all the trimming. But how do it, No talk, you look starved. You got to eat. How do it, sir? Eat, eat. Oh. I'm a feel like my stomach is a wet ton. The hot the dogs. Then the how do it, turkey. Oh, Luigi, just as I thought, you are all alone. I said I'm all alone, but to believe me, is not the like you think. Schultz told me Pasquale didn't invite you, so I brought you some turkey in this bag. Oh, sir, please. Stop begging. I'll have the food ready here in a second. Yo, come on, now eat this. Oh. Oh, I'm a feeling so full. I'm going to hardly stand up. I'm going to think I'm going to lock up my door. Luigi, my fellow boober. Happy Thanksgiving. All that depends. Sure, so what's in that the big bag? Turkey. Oh. oh! You're going out of your mind from hunger. You, 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 you poor little hermit. You, you were sitting here praying your friend Schultz would walk in with a turkey, huh? Schultz, from now on, anybody who's walking is a look like a turkey. <laughs> Don't tell me I can see. Starvation is already bloating up your stomach. <laughs> Come on, I feed you myself. Oh, sure. Come on, I feed you myself. Oh, Come on, sure, open sir. up the mouth wide. <laughs> 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 
not see the three turkeys. <laughs> the hot the dogs. Oh, mommy, I'm not going to move. I'm not going to take off my clothes. I think I'm going to sleep right under the table. Luigi! Oh, poor Luigi. Look, laying on the floor, weak from hunger. <laughs> Oh, fella, he's a hiccup from an empty stomach. <laughs> Luigi, I was a mean man, but I'm going to make up to you. But, Squire, please be mean. Don't make up to me. <laughs> Luigi, you're saying that because you're angry with me, and I'm to blame. No, no, Pasquale, I'm not angry. I'm a sick. You're sick? Only one thing to cure that, the food. Oh, no. <laughs> Luigi, I apologize for the way I'm treating you, but I brought you something to cheer you up. Turkey? No, Rosa. <laughs> That's the first time in my life I'm glad to see Rosa. Good, then I'm going to call her in. Rosa! 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 You called me, Papa! <laughs> Yes, I'm a calling you, my little pumpkin pie. <laughs> Rosa, say hello to Luigi. <laughs> hello, Luigi. Hello, Rosa. Rosa, we was a mean to Luigi, but we're going to make up a right now, ain't we? Don't want to tell me. Yes, sir, Luigi, we brought you something to eat. I'm not think I'm going to hold anymore. Then, Rosa, be quick. Luigi, Thanksgiving, everybody's a talk about a turkey. You must be sick about hearing about turkey. How you know? So we didn't bring you any. Oh, Pasquale. Pasquale, you're wonderful. Instead, we got a surprise. Surprise? Rosa, open up for the pot for the show. Look, Luigi. Mamma mia, back to the hot dogs. <laughs> So, Mamma Mia, it's hard for me to tell you exactly how I'm going to celebrate the Thanksgiving. It was a good and a bad, happy and a sad. But one thing I'm sure, sure, I'm going to finally celebrate the Thanksgiving like a real American, holding my stomach. <laughs> you loving a son? <laughs> Luigi Vasco, the little immigrant. production and is written by Mac Benoff and Lou Derman and directed by Mac Benoff. Jade Carol Nash has starred as Luigi Vasco with Alan Reed as Pasquale, Hans Conrad as Schultz, Mary Ship as Miss Spaulding, Jody Gilbert as Rosa, Joe Forte as Horowitz, and Ken Peters as Olsen. Music is under the direction of Lud Gluskin. Bob Stevenson speaking. Be sure to listen next Tuesday at the same time when Luigi has as his special guest Metro Goldwyn Mayer's new singing sensation, the star of that midnight kiss, Mario Lanza. Stay tuned now for Escape. This is CBS, the Columbia Broadcasting System.